Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, today we're back with a uh, another nice um, retro pie, Raspberry Pi handheld. Um, everybody gave me some really great interaction on the Game Pi 20, and that was awesome. The Game Pi 20 was so much fun. Uh, a lot of people really, really liked it, and I mean, I really like it too. But what would be even cooler is if we could get a Raspberry Pi 4 handheld because there's not a lot of options for those right now and being able to maybe reuse something that we had for the pi 3 uh, b plus would be even better well luckily for me uh, as i did mess up uh, i picked up this little um pie case for my pi 4 i was going to use it as like kind of just a, not really a portable uh, retro pie setup but you know essentially a portable RetroPie setup, but the screen is not compatible with current versions of RetroPie, so, uh, wah, wah, uh, my bad, but either way, it did come with a little L bracket that would fit right into this, uh, lovely little beast here, if you guys will remember, this amazing screen, but, uh, poor quality shoulder button, uh, wave share, uh, game hat, this was, uh, kind of my first foray into Raspberry Pi handhelds and I do love this handheld it's got amazing speakers the screen is all 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 too good for what for what it costs and um but let's see if the little bracket that comes with uh the L-shaped bracket for mini HDMI to HDMI will fit for the Pat Raspberry Pi 4 into this hat um so let's go ahead and just let's just jump right into this and throw this Pi 4 in here and see if we can get this to work. All right, fingers crossed, hold your butts, let's see if this works. Success. Looks like the screen's gonna light off right off the bat. Um, that's amazing. Uh, the bracket fit like a glove um, for the adapter from regular HDMI to the mini HDMI that's on the, the Pi 4. And and that is, that's a victory in itself right there. Um, because as with that other case, it didn't work at all. But with a little research, I did find that WaveShare is actually officially supporting this bracket. Uh, they actually offer it for sale on their site. So now, with a little bit of luck, well, a lot of luck, uh, the buttons will work, and we'll be able to program it. If not, and it looks like we're not going to be so lucky, the buttons are not working. At least we have the screen working, but the buttons are not working. So what we're going to need to do now is go over to um, WaveShare's website and actually download, manually download the drivers uh, because I'm using a pre-built RetroPie um, installation. So I've gone and, and done that. I've gone and gotten the, uh, the drivers manually and I will put instructions with all the uh, command line prompts that you'll need. Uh, in the description below the video so if you just want to read that and and do it yourself or there's a couple different uh, youtubers that have done actual like 
instruction videos on how to manually install drivers. A lot of them, you know, don't uh, make it this far. Like with ours, we've got the screen working, so we're lucky. We can just plug a keyboard into it, and then we can just throw our drivers on the root drive of a USB drive and throw them on here just using the command line. And uh, it's really, really easy. It's very simple, so don't get overwhelmed by using command line. I know a lot of people do, but all in all, like, this is, I would consider this a success. Um, this RetroPie portable handheld system is clocking in real cheap, uh, between 35 and $45 for the WaveShare game hat. And, you know, I'm just using a two gigabyte of RAM model of the Pi 4 because that's all you need for emulation. You don't need the four or the eight. The two is just fine. And this is fantastic. Um, I wish, you know, like I said in my previous video about the WaveShare game hat, I wish the shoulder buttons were a little more stout because mine did fall off. So that's going to limit some, some things I'm going to be able to do with it. But it really brings the value proposition for this unit up a lot. I like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And I, I can honestly give it, you know, two thumbs up. Would recommend. I will buy you know probably buy another one of these just for this you know it's got all the features that i want it's got you know battery indicator it takes 18650 it's got awesome uh front controls it's just you know i mean we're coming in under like what 65 dollars to 75 dollars for this whole setup here that's awesome so let's jump into some gameplay i apologize i lost the audio for the games it just didn't come out right but you can see. Awesome, guys. Well, thanks for stopping by again. Uh, I know you guys love these portable RetroPie setups, and I do too. They're just so cool. And this one just got a whole lot better, being able to put the Pi 4 in there. Um, thank you for all of the interaction on the GamePi 20 uh, video. That was amazing. I got some really cool, cool feedback from a lot of people, and, and it was just it was so cool. If you haven't, make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Um, this is a quickie, I know. But it's so worth it. Everybody, have a good day. And remember, don't over-tighten your screws. See you later.